my Nespresso order hath arrived. I was down to two pods. We were in danger territory. <laughs> I picked up pumpkin spice cake, which I've never had before. So I need to give it a try. The hazelnut's kind of my go-to every day. And I also love Melozio. And in wintertime, peppermint. <sighs> they didn't have peppermint available yet. So here we go. Oh my god, new fill big spot. I'm just trying to stay away from the machine because it makes a lot of noise. It is almost noon. Sorry, I'm gonna distract him with my skelly because he's missing a leg. Is that the one that was already missing a leg that I hot glued back on? Maybe. But these lights fell, which I should have seen coming because they fell last year too. To be fair, I just had a single piece of tape at the top holding them up. Well, technically two pieces. One piece per strand. <laughs> I think I need to put a little nail up on top of the trim and then I can properly hang stuff more securely. Anyway, I had a chill morning. It's almost noon. Later today, I'm gonna watch some JoJo's with my sister. I don't know what time we're starting, so I'm not really planning on getting much of anything done today. But I have a few things to do in the meantime, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I'm just loving the vibes over here. All I did was put the pumpkin out and the garland, but it's just, that's all you need. Mm. Oh, it just finished. Mm, smells pumpkin-y. <laughs> I mean, the little bit I got was good. It's really hot, so I can only take tiny sips. It's pretty good, pretty good. It's no peppermint, but it's good. Got some solar lights here charging in the sun. And they're gonna go out in the yard to shine upon the decor. Here's all their other pieces, steaks and such. That just must be an extender to make it even higher. I want them pretty low to the ground, so. So the Nespresso delivery came Friday, those yard lights came Friday, and this. It's <laughs> just folded up on top. Okay. So what do we have here? All kinds of goodies. We have the retinol 1%, There's a few of those. Wait, I did not order this. Buffet. I've had this before, but I did not order this. Okay. Squalene cleanser. I did order that in two sizes. One is more practical for travel and then the bigger one. Then the niacinamide. I ordered two big ones and a small again, just for travel. Now, is this a freebie or was this a mistake? <laughs> oh, from us to you, the buffet. It's a gift. I don't even know if I finished off the first bottle I had of this. I just... I don't know, I just didn't really understand what it was doing. We have a few products left over in our old packaging. Didn't want them to go to waste. You're receiving one as a gift. Target skin smoothness, signs of aging. Okay, well, the sun is harassing me. I also use their moisturizer a little bit, but I have a couple still, so I didn't order any. It's not my main go-to moisturizer, so it takes me a while to get through it. I mostly use the, uh, the Olay Complete with SPF. It's affordable and it's got SPF in it, so that's my daily go-to. I'm gonna deal with these bins that I got in the last vlog. They're for holding the sweater inventory, but I wanna rip off all their labels and then put new labels on them. So, where's the bone folder? I mean, I probably could use my nails because they're short and unpainted. I cut them all the way down because they were so gross after making Samara, and they're still kinda gross. They're a lot better. After a solid 10 minutes of searching that felt like an eternity, I found the bone folder. It was just sitting on my easel behind the easel. So it's a tabletop one, so sitting on the back piece. <sighs> Why did I buy a lid with paint on it? Or maybe it's just a scuff. Ah. I've got 10 like this, and then I have two different ones that are for Halloween decorations. Did this turn? Did I bump this or did I just set it up like this? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, the sweater's coming off. <laughs> I guess some of these are a little lifted already. Actually, I think these are different labels than the other ones I bought. They might not even be quite the same bins. Like maybe this is a newer version because I don't think they're gonna say HBX on them. Yeah, no, they don't. They look the same otherwise. So maybe I just looked for my bone folder for nothing. So in Friday's stream, I wanted to stop by midnight because I had plans the next evening and I just wanted to not be like too tired or hungover or whatever. 
So at midnight, I was like, okay, we're just gonna do one more game, just one more Fall Guys game. But I won the game, I was playing solo show, and I won, and the rule is if I win, I gotta keep going. We gotta see how many wins in a row I can get. I feel like I'm going insane with this camera placement. I think it's just me, I think. I swear every, like, is it, wait, is it moving? No, this isn't just swivel. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Anyway, I said one more game, but I won the game. So I did a second game and I won the game. So I did a third game and I won the game and I did a fourth game and I won the game. So we had to go for number five and I lost on puzzle path of all games. I was getting so turned around. Like that's how you knew I was done for the night because <laughs> I was going in circles. Maybe it's just throwing me off because the camera is not like centered on the tripod. It's just angled. Anyway, so the stream ended at one o'clock instead. And then I have to do my usual unwind after the stream. It was a little longer than usual. I stayed up for another two and a half hours until 3.30. <laughs> so it was kind of a late night regardless, but it was fine. I just like stayed in bed until I eventually showered around 2 p.m. And then, and then we went to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's place to watch the Flames game. They lost. <laughs> and then we came back here and we played some games online with friends. We played Gardic Phone and Jackbox. And watching stuff with my sister later today. So it's kind of a, it turned out to be a bit of a social weekend. Warning, do not lock your babies in plastic bins. These two bins are a little longer, which is nice for decor. Oh yeah, these are gonna be annoying ones. Yeah. I, oh yeah, stop peeping. This one might need some goo gone. Although, I don't really care to bother with that. To label the bins, I'll probably do the same thing I did on these stacking bins, which is a piece of masking tape, but it's got the edge folded over so you can easily rip it off if you need to swap out the label. I'm running dangerously low on this, but I only need to label 10 bins. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how, like these would probably go in the same bin together. So we have nine sizes, 10 bins, but some are gonna be consolidated. We probably will want like two large bins. This thing is right where I want to put my sticker. Like I could, <gasps> I was gonna say I could put it on there. I didn't fold over the edge. And I didn't leave enough space to fold over the edge nicely. Trim a little bit so it's not too off center. I cut off too much extra on this one. Whatever, let's just, it's okay if it's not centered. <laughs> And just a reminder, the next sweatshirt restock is this Wednesday, the day after this video is going up. I've already announced it, but we might as well do the reminder since we're getting up an extra video this week. <laughs> and it'll be just strawberry. Luna Moth will come in the future. I forgot these shoes also came in on Friday, so I should wear them instead of these ones. These ones are just getting so squished. There's almost no cushioning left there. <laughs> Thanks, Ju. You. They are a bit squeeze. They seem like they're slightly smaller than these. So they seem actually true to size. I've tried some different brands and there's one I really liked, but one size is too small. And if I go up a size, it's way too big, even bigger than this. These are a little loose, a little big, but it's good for when you're wearing socks. These don't feel as squishy as the pair that's too small, too big. That's the comfiest one I've tried yet. And yet, my feet don't fit in them. So Christian wears the big pair and the small ones I sometimes wear if I'm not wearing socks, but these raised edges will rub against the side of your toe and the back of your heel. It'll give you calluses. And so, yeah, this feels like a good size, even though less squishy on the heel. I do like the extra air hole though, that's nice. And these ones can maybe become my garage shoes just to slip on when I'm going into the garage. Got the bins all laid out. Ooh, ah. I don't know if I necessarily need two medium bins, but I had enough bins to do it. So extra small and smaller sharing a bin, then 4X, 5X are sharing a bin, two mediums, two large, two XLs. Although in these boxes here, I don't have any 4X, 5X. This brand only goes up to 3X, so I won't have any for that bin. 
I mean, we'll see how these fit in the bins. So if they stay folded like this, will they fit nicely? We'll see. I might need to give them just a once like that. I could be making Christian do this, but I'm just kind of in the mood to do it. I mean, I wouldn't make him do it today. He would do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to force him to work on the weekends. Okay, since they're plastic wrap, they're probably all the same size. Although I should still check. Oh, large. Okay, that is basically one entire bin. Look at this. <laughs> I don't have any of the hoodies yet, so hoodies can go in bin number two. Although I might not be able to get my hands on the pigment dyed plum. They do have plum in a different style of hoodie. And I have ordered samples. So we'll see. That could be a good backup. Okay, being in the same piece of plastic does not mean they're all the same. I thought maybe they just got their stock in that way and sent it back out that way. But these are all 3XLs, except there is one 2XL hiding in there. All right, they're all in the bins and... The ratio of sizes is a bit off. Like we're severely lacking in XLs. Even larges, I didn't get as many as I wanted. We also have more 3XL than we do 2XL. Yeah, it's a little off, but I, I bought as much as I could. I have to wait for it to come back in stock. I was starting to wonder why the two sample hoodies weren't here yet and I went to look into it. I had never ordered them. They were just sitting in my cart. And so now I've ordered them, but I also noticed they had six 2XLs of the crewnecks in stock. So I grabbed those. Other than that, the stock levels are exactly where I left them. So I can't order more than that, but we're at least topping up the two XLs. Okay, here are eight of the bins. We can't fit any more under there, but I have two here for now. The closet needs to be completely reorganized. So this will hopefully be dealt with in the future, but for now they're sitting there. We just ran out to pick up some of these. There are more in the garage because they're potentially going to stay in there unless we need them down here. But two of these wide ones down here and a narrower one. And then there are two more of the wide ones in the garage. La la la. So I'm going to give you a before shot of this room. I don't know if I'll fully tackle it in this vlog, but I'd like to get to a lot of this tomorrow and some this evening. Like I'll, I'll work on it up until I need to hang out with Brooklyn. I'm gonna do a complete litter swap today with all fresh litter. This is where I want that narrow shelf to go. And uh, here's everything else right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when the Halloween bins are usually there, but they're upstairs. Uh, yeah, that's a look at the room. Look how tall this is. I need to use a step stool to get to the top. But I'm a little scared I did them backwards because this won't fit on top. Like all my posts might be upside down. But that was the only way they were fitting in. Yeah, this has skinny side down. Ugh, that's how I did it at first, but it was so wobbly and it fits so nicely the other way. All right, we got two thick ones there and the skinny one here. That was a bit of a workout. Okay, I just took a break for supper and I came back down to show you progress on everything I was doing before supper. So, um, here we go. Litter box is on this wall now instead of this wall. So we have a narrow rack there and then a metal one here. I just threw the stuff on the shelves. I haven't actually organized them yet. So stuff's not gonna stay where it is now necessarily. I've got the two black shelves on the back wall, the wider ones. And I left a gap so you can still access stuff. And I thought that'd be a good place to put the cat tunnel. It does collapse, so we probably actually will collapse it for the winter. But when it's not winter and we use it more, it can be sitting right there. And it's easy to move if you need to get something on the shelf. This is pretty much in the same spot. I just slid it over a little bit. And so that's progress. These taller plastic bins, though, don't fit on these shelves. But they do fit on the metal ones. So... We only have like two like that, but that's annoying. That probably means these won't fit on there either, the black ones. But we have a lot more useful storage space. It's a work in progress still, but that's where we're at. I moved the lights outside closer to the objects they're shining on 
because the light was a little annoying. Like it hurt my eyes seeing the light inside the house, even though it's not very bright because I have it on the dimmest setting. The one on the very end, you can kind of see it because we couldn't get that tombstone staked in all the way. But I also made sure to angle them away from the neighbor's yards so that it's not bothering them. So yeah, now they're right up close like that. And one more quick update. These shelves are starting to be filled up a bit and these are very empty. So I have lots of room to put stuff on, which is great. And some stuff sitting outside this room because I'm gonna move it to the garage. These chairs could probably go into the garage, but I wanna keep one or two down here just for sitting in the backyard. Like we don't have any furniture on the little brick patio out there. And so I want something accessible. That's empty. This is empty. So yeah, plenty of room to add more stuff like Christmas and Halloween decor. <laughs> and the furnace is kicking on. Let's get out of here. And it's now Monday. We got through four episodes of JoJo's last night. I was very tired. <laughs> I think I was just physically exhausted from having an, a very active day by my standards. Lots of lifting stuff and <laughs> moving bins and shelves. So yeah, I slept pretty well though because of that. <laughs> and first thing I need to do today is package up some orders. I have 12 to do and then I'm gonna close my shop in anticipation for Wednesday. I don't have a whole lot to do other than tweak inventory numbers. And I'm not gonna do that for the sweatshirts until Christian's done stitching them. We're gonna do a final count. But one thing I forgot I still have to do is grade more sketchbooks. I have to open up more boxes and pick up the B grades and that kind of thing. And so there's that. Cause I got through the pile that was by the door but the pile that's by the foot of the stairs is still there. Oh, I don't know if I wanna do that today or tomorrow though. It could be tomorrow's activity. Kind of missed some spots with my fabric shaver. To be fair, I did fabric shave this while wearing it. <laughs> I feel like I need to do these blanks, at least at some point. These are Bella and Canvas, and this is probably my favorite zip up to wear. The Twinch zip up. But I've been hesitant to use it as blanks because it does pill quite a bit, but I still wear it, I just fabric shave it. So like maybe I just need to do that I just <laughs> it's literally my favorite so maybe I should use it as blanks because this zip up blank adventure has just been <sighs> it has been difficult <laughs> this is for Victoria by the way I mean sure let's stick the washi in there that's the end of my tape roll Still using the winter tape. <laughs> My custom tape order has shipped though, so hopefully I get it soon with the tulip design. Although we're pretty much at the point in the year where I would use this. Like starting November 1st is when I would ideally start using this. So how many do I even have left? I have two rolls, so that might be enough for Christmas. I don't know. If not, we use the tulip, I guess. As much as I would love to finish the storage room and get stuff out of the closet in the embroidery room. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of marker art. I'm feeling in the mood for markers. And what I'm gonna do is take the Luna Moth design and try to make it with markers. So I've printed this off so I can just trace over it. The one difference is this will flatten out here. It will not be a curve. So I'm gonna trace this onto some mixed media paper and just color it in and then we'll see how I like it because I've been unsure if I should do this traditionally or not or just do it digitally for products and you, I'm just let's just just try it just try it see what it looks like and I can always use the digital version for something like washi tape if I feel like that will look better small hold up put a pause on the art we got a delivery it's the tape Ta-da! So I probably could have made the design a little wider, but you have to do six inch tape or 12 inch. And the way my tulips worked out, it just made more sense to shrink them a little bit. But I don't mind white edges because almost all my boxes are white. So, tulip tape. Huh? 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 So I'll use this for a little bit. Then we'll go back to winter buns. And then when that runs out, we'll be back to this. I've got 10 rolls, which isn't a ton, but I kind of just wanted to see 
how this would work out with a narrower design. So, Luna Moth. I had a few troubles working on this, mostly due to Copic markers running out of ink because this is a pretty big flat surface to color and it's mixed media paper. So it's gonna soak up a lot of marker ink. And usually in that case, I will specifically look for markers that I have refills for and use those colors. But I just really wanted to use specific colors that were the closest to the digital version. And one of those markers was an anniversary marker, those black barreled ones. And those have all dried out over time. I don't know what was up with those markers in particular, but they all get super crusty and the nibs crystallize and they just get gross. I have markers that are way older that last way longer. So one of the close colors crushed it up. And then I used the next closest color, which was YG41, I think. And it also dried up on me. I was on the very first wing of the butterfly when it was drying out. And so I did my best to just cover the rest of that area with semi-dry marker just to make the color a little bit flat so there wasn't an abrupt cutoff of color and then I had to find something else but I already knew what my other closest color was and it was all crusty and so I was looking at my ohuhus but those colors are too dark and I thought you know what let's just try layering a couple colors to see if we can get something close and that worked out so I'm layering two different ones there one's more yellowy one is more bluey and together they make a great color and I had to use two coats of the G00 just because it still looks a little too yellow after the first coat but then on the fourth wing fourth wing yes I'm gonna read that book no I have not read it yet um <laughs> one of my markers started running out of ink again the G00 but that's fine I have a refill I was like all right let me go grab my refill for G02 I grabbed the refill for G02 <laughs> and I refilled my G00 with G02 <laughs> There was at least one good thing about it because when you go to refill a marker, the color comes out darker and juicier and more vibrant than when it was dying. And I knew that by refilling the marker, I was not going to end up with the same color. So I was trying to gently refill it. I put in somewhere between 10 and 20 drops of color. So I did not fully refill the marker. I just did a little bit because I didn't want to alter the color too much. So that was my one saving grace because I used completely the wrong color. So then I did have to fully refill the marker with G00. And I even used a bit of G000 to try to counter counteract the G02. But even so, the color was not the same. Even if I had fully refilled it with the proper color, like to the top of the barrel, it would not have looked the same. So now the top right wing looks like a completely different color <laughs> than the rest. So what I might do is just Photoshop the other wing over. Like I can either just cut this whole thing in half and mirror it, or I can take just the top wing on the left and mirror it over to the right side and hope that that looks good. And even though I plan on covering that one wing, I'm still finishing it for the sake of the illustration. I didn't want to leave just one wing unfinished looking. So I still colored it in. Plus, you never know if by the end it will look the same as the rest. Spoiler alert, it did not look the same in the end. So <laughs> we will have to modify this a bit digitally. And where I left this off, I don't think it's done. Because looking at the finished illustration from a distance, I feel like there's not enough color contrast, particularly in the green areas. And so I feel like it needs more. So what I might do is just scan it the way I have it now, and then I can color it some more. And if I screw it up, I can just do it digitally instead. You know, <laughs> that way we have two avenues to pursue because it just, it just needs a little bit more. Oh, and doing the white lines on the wings was a bit annoying because in the digital version, it's just a lighter green, but I didn't really have a way to make that work. I was looking at things like my gel pens and my Poscas, but I didn't have anything light enough. Even with pencil crayon, the only thing light enough was the white. And so again, that doesn't look like the digital version. So will I use the traditional version for anything? Maybe. I mean, because if this was like a pillowcase or something, it would be nice to not have the flat color. Or if it was, say, a sticker, it would be nice to use this Copic version. So I want to keep going with it and see if I can improve on it a little bit more than where I've left it off in this video. I couldn't keep working on it tonight because I had to finish off editing this vlog. It's Monday night. I want this video up for Tuesday. So I couldn't keep working on it. 
and I thought I was done, honestly, when I stopped working on it. I thought I was done. And then I looked at it more and I'm like, no, it needs more work. I'm afraid I'm going to overwork it. But you know what? That's why we'll scan it because then we can just touch it up digitally instead and all our problems will be solved. The last thing I was doing here was just going in and adding some more color in different places because I was very strict about keeping only greens in the green area, only purples in the purple area, that kind of thing. Like there's a bit of green on the wings, but or a bit of yellow, sorry, a bit of yellow on the wings. But then I went in and added a bunch of the different colors to the outlines because especially the outlines to the white areas, they just looked so boring. And so I'm like, okay, let's add in like a bit of yellow, a bit of green, a bit of the purpley color, just so it's more exciting. And I feel like I could push that even further especially on the colored areas, like you could even mix in a bit of the pinky purple on the wings or whatever, just get a little more ambitious with it, a bit more brave because <laughs> I was honestly scared to go too far because the digital version, I love the flat color. And so with the, the, tr the traditional version, I'm scared to overdo it, but it does need more. And that is it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one on Saturday and on the stream on Wednesday. Bye! The Bell Witch and Samara. Her head looks so like flat and necklace. But with wig number two, hopefully it'll look better. And Count Dracula. So yeah, from this side you can see all this wood stuff. So I might...